Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, son, TJ. How's it going, everybody? Um, I've been very busy, so my apologies for this review coming out so late. But I've been having fun playing Drama Fighters, and I try to give you guys different type of content. But basically, off the likes and views, I'm guessing you guys are not really enjoying it that much. But hey, I'm good in my best shot, so please check those videos out and let me know if y'all want me to have more content featuring Drama Fighters and live streams. But today... Let's talk about 125. Now, 125 was a really great episode that I really hate to have to review so late. But, again, I was going through track meets and I wasn't feeling that good. Still don't feel that good now. But I know a lot of you guys want me to have my commentary over it. So, this episode is kind of continuation over the whole Goku, Vegeta versus Topo thing. Then Android 17 and Frieza teaming up to fight. Wait, did I just say Topo? I mean, I meant Goku and Vegeta teaming up to fight Jiren and Android 17 and Frieza fighting Topo. And this is the whole big transformation of Topo. And this honestly made Topo way more interesting than Jiren. Like, I already made a video discussing how I feel about Jiren, but Topo, it just, it just reminded you how badass a God Destruction can be. Now, we've seen God Destruction do stuff. We've seen Cedra shoot his Hakai. And a lot of people think either Cedra is weaker than Golden Frieza or Cedra was only using a percentage of his power. And uh, we can have a whole discussion about that, but let's do like a whole summary of the episode. So, pretty much Beyond Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, oh my god, Beyond Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Blue, Kyle, Ken, Goku, are teaming up to fight Jiren. And yet again, they're still doing the whole, Jiren is barely trying, yada yada. But in the last episode, Jiren is struggling. Like, again, I'm just waiting for Jiren to actually do something at this point, because right now, he just bullshitting. And a lot of people are trying to think that Jiren is somewhat using his full power, like, he's not. Okay, he's not going to use his full power until Ultra Instinct Goku comes out. Okay, that's just pretty much what it is. Like, some people are saying Jiren is weaker than Topo. Like, guys, literally, Topo is God Destruction level, and Jiren has been said many times to be above God Destruction level. Get it through your head. I don't know why people are underestimating the dude. Yeah, he can be boring, but Jiren is not weaker than Topo. Just letting you know. Um, So, that happens. Then Topo is fighting Android 17, Andrew 17's whole plan is that I'm going to hold out to the end of the tournament because we have more people. But Topo is not having it. Then they go into a beam clash. And the overall animation is not that bad in this part. It's, it's, it's made by their worst animator. He's not going to be on any other episodes, which is a good thing. But he came out with a bang. And, you know, you can't really hate him on, on this episode. But, of course, when Topo is about to win, Frieza comes in, Golden Frieza, with his Emperor's Death Beam. And starts blasting the hell out of him. Talking trash, calling him trash. And um, it was kind of bad because you feel like Topo was the victim in this situation. It like made you feel really bad. But um, Topo, like a boss, ends up surviving Android 17's blast and Frieza torturing him. And, but he gets up and this is when Topo gains badass points because he transforms. And a lot of people are wondering what's that mark on his chest. It's the mark of Vermouth's. Uh, not Vermouth, Belmont's, whatever, it's the same freaking name. Um, Belmont's design on his God Destruction outfit is pretty much saying that Topo has taken his place. Now, a lot of people are going to underestimate Topo saying that he's barely on God Destruction level or he's like a very, you know, very mediocre God Destruction because he just transformed into it. But you got to understand that Vermouth, well, Belmont is kind of hyped to be stronger than Beerus in the anime because in the anime it says that the, the God Destruction that has the mortal above gods is stronger than Beerus even though Beerus counteracts that. And I'm just saying, if he's strong enough to replace Belmont, I'm just saying, don't be surprised if he's around that tier of Beerus. Especially how, when he attacks Golden Frieza, and Golden Frieza's coming in very cocky, saying that he can take on the Hakai, and a lot of people kept on complaining, saying that, and a lot of people was using this debate as well, saying that the, the key blast that uh, Topo was using was not really destruction, it was the whole Hakai that Beerus used against Omasu. No, it's the same thing, okay? Just because it's in key form does not mean it doesn't erase stuff. So, this proving, and this episode proves that if you're stronger than the actual destruction attack, you're not getting erased. Because Gold, because Golden Frieza tanked it even though he was, he got knocked out of Golden Frieza mode. If you're strong enough, you can take destruction. So, everyone using the whole Beerus destroys Vegito Blue because of destruction, again, that doesn't work here. Sorry, Rhyme Style. You can keep hyping that up, but hey, this doesn't prove that destruction takes out anyone who doesn't have the ability to use it. This just proves that people who can tank it can tank it. But anyway, Golden Frieza believes that he can take on Topo because he took on Cedra. But it's a big debate trying to figure out if Golden Frieza is really strong in the Cedra. Uh, it's hard for me to decide, really, because 
On the other hand, Cedra is definitely the weakest guy of destruction. I'm, I'm not trying to debate this anymore. He, he is the weakest, okay? In the manga, he got beat really easily. In the anime, he literally Beerus blew away his destruction attack. And you can say that he used some of his power, but the thing expanded to the same size as Topo's destruction attack, and Frieza was still able to do it. So let me know if you think Gota Frieza is stronger than Cedra. A lot of people think Cedra stronger, so hey, I'm not here to debate that. But yeah, Frieza gets wrecked. And the attack is so powerful that it made Goku and Jiren's OVA, not OVA, a special, look like a joke, man. It destroyed the entire arena, and it gave it the final battle, like, design in the background, which was really cool, which I really enjoyed. But, yeah, so, then it becomes Topo trying to chase down Android 17 with his new badass design, and he almost quarters Android 17, but Frieza comes back with his whole, I have the power to destroy a planet BS. I really feel like that's just the name of the attack. You know what I mean? It's not like he's using a planet-destroying attack against someone who's Universal Plus. But even so, Topo literally toys with him, shoots a tiny destruction key, and proceeds to wreck Frieza. Like, oh my god, that was great animation. I really enjoyed it. This episode was surprisingly really greatly animated. And, uh, yeah, so Frieza is almost knocked out, but Android 17 saves him, and Frieza's hanging at the corner. Now, this might be the, the key to, uh, to Universe 7's victory, but I want to discuss how I want this arc to end, and I know it's going to piss some people off, but hey, what is what it is. But the episode ends with Android 17 taking on Topo, and we all know that Topo is going to wreck Android 17. But is Android 17 going to be eliminated next episode? I don't think so, and I'm not... Okay, I'll tell you after we review why I think Android 17 is not gone. I thought he was, but then I remember some stuff. But yeah, the overall episode, I will give it a 10 out of 10. I loved it so well. It made Topo really look badass. Actually, made me respect Topo because everyone kept on trying to say that he's weaker than Super Saiyan Blue. No, he tanked Super Saiyan Blue Goku, forced him to use Kaioken, and then in this... He is proven to be stronger than Cedra and probably stronger than most of the God Destructions by just how he's doing things. He has a weakness, though. They say that he has to charge up his destruction attack. But regardless, that's like not even really a big deal when you're surrounded by destruction aura. So, and also, people need to understand that because he had the destruction aura does not mean he's going to kill everyone by just touching him because he, he literally crushed Frieza's head and Frieza wasn't erased. You know what I mean? You could say that he wasn't trying to, but like, come on. Like, if you're strong in destruction, like I said before, you can take it. But, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I think it's a 10 out of 10. And uh, I think Android 17 is not eliminated because we have an episode, spoiler, saying that the barrier of hope. And so, um, Android 17 has been really sticking around. I honestly wish Gohan was taking his place, but that's just me being a Gohan fan. And um, the next episode preview, 126, is showing Beyond Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta fighting Topo. And I'm really excited to see this. I'm hoping Vegeta wins this. Yes, people who think I'm a Vegeta hater, I really hope Vegeta wins this because he needs a legit W. And I feel like if you unlock this form, at least do something cool. Granted, you can say the same thing about Ultra Instinct, but Ultra Instinct did a lot of stuff cool. This is that Beyond Super Saiyan Blue has been kind of underwhelming. It's been on the same level as current Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Times 20. And no, current Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Times 20 is not on the same level that he fought Jiren with. It's like way above that now. Because now he's not getting wrecked by Jiren. He's actually able to fight Jiren on his own a little bit. So, yeah. I'm really hoping that Beyond Vegeta can beat Topo. If not, I hope there's a double knockout. Because I really see this tournament ending with Ultra Instinct Goku versus Jiren. Like, it's been pretty obvious. But a lot of people are hoping for this major twist. What if Goku gets eliminated? Vegeta wins. Or Frieza wins. I really see either Goku beating Jiren. Then Frieza try to pull some BS. Or J Goku and Jiren get knocked out together and it's a gag that Frieza wins but you know it's going to end up like the end of Z anyway it's just people are just really having in their mind that somehow it's going to be this big twist like no it's going to be Ultra Instinct Goku versus Jiren for the finale it's been hyped up this retired time this entire time you can say that's very you know easy to guess but hey I'm really excited if that does happen but Hey, tell me what you guys think. Do you think Vegeta should beat Topo? I think he should. Do you think Topo is stronger than majority of God Destructions like Champa and the the, the the God Destructions that was fighting in their little warm-up match because they didn't do none of the damage that Topo did? And um, do you think Golden Freeze is stronger than Cedra? Because, you know, uh, you could say that he was using a little bit of his power, but the Destruction Ball expanded and Freeza still took it on. So, I, I don't know, man, but yet again, my apologies if y'all not have been enjoying the content. I've been trying my best, man, 
and I'm just human. I'm really trying, but hey, um, I I can do what I can do, man. So uh, more content is going to be coming out soon. We might do some power scaling. Leave some video suggestions in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let's try to get to 30 or 40 likes because I know y'all guys have been sleeping on my views, my videos recently. And check out my other videos as well. So yeah, sun to y'all. Peace. Love you all.